when you surrendered to God, it did mean defeat. Good day to everybody. This is Nikki. And I want to let you know, family, that God wants you to surrender everything, surrender all and hold nothing. Don't hold anything from God. Surrender all. When God asks you to surrender, it doesn't mean defeat. God said he's going to increase as you decrease. As you decrease, God is going to increase. I want you to read Isaiah 55, 8 through 9 in your spare time because God has a blessing for you, but it's going to require you to be humble. It's going to require your humility to surrender yourself completely to God for you and I to completely surrender to our father and let go means he's going to increase while we decrease. Isn't that music to your ears? God say, I'm going to increase your life. He said, I'm going to increase while you decrease. We have to decrease because God is going to increase our lives, family of God. We have to have a heart that has no pride in it. We have to be devoid in our heart of pride. And we got to recognize, family, just like God is going to let people recognize who you are and that he called you to do amazing things and that you're his child. People are going to recognize this. But we have to recognize that there is nobody on this beautiful planet that is better at running, running our lives other than God. There is nobody better and there is nobody greater than our God is not. Surrender everything you have to God and withhold nothing. Withhold nothing from God. And as you continue to decrease, God is going to increase your life. Give your God, give your children to God. Whatever situation that you find yourself in, whatever situation that you have been facing, I want you to surrender to God. Don't look at it as a defeat because it's not a defeat. You've been set up to be prosperous by God. Because whenever you humble yourself under the mighty all hand of God, listen to that. When we humble ourselves under the almighty hand of God, it is God that is going to lead us. It is God that is going to quicken you. It is God that's going to make a life in your life, family of God. You got to surrender. God is requiring you to be total humble today. This is going to require your total humility you know, God expects for all of us to surrender everything in our life. Don't hold anything back. You know, sometimes we'll give God some things that we want him to have and those things that we're not so sure that we need to give to God, we hold them. But God says, surrender every aspect of your life, everything, because you can trust God with everything. Galatians 5, 24, 25, read that in your spare time, because God expects us to surrender every part of our life walk in the spirit of the Lord because whenever we walk in the spirit of the Lord we're going to produce great works and we're going to give God the glory when we walk in the spirit we are going to produce good works and whenever we produce good works we're going to glorify our father which is in the heaven family of God we got to crucify this flesh those old passions those old desires we have to crucify this flesh starve this flesh and feed your spirit because you are spirit. You're not flesh. You live in a body and you house a soul, your mind, your will, your emotions, your intellect, your imaginations. These are your mental faculties. And we got to make sure every mental faculty that God has given us is healthy and is whole. So you feed your spirit. God is going to open doors for you that have been shutting your face. God is going to do this, but he's asking something of you today. Will you do it? Do you have the faith to do it? Do you have the belief to do it? And what is that? God is requiring you to be humble. He's requiring your humility to surrender every part of your life. Surrender it all and don't hold anything back. How can we feel so comfortable in surrendering to another human being and withholding nothing back and giving that? to another human being. But when it comes to our creator, who we've been made in the likeness and the image of, why do we feel we can't surrender all? Why do we feel like God is going to shortchange us? 
God is not going to shortchange you. People may have shortchanged you, but it has placed you in a position for God to give you all. You have been placed in a position. You have been divinely placed in a good position for God to allow his angels to guide you, to protect you, and to bring in a new day for you. God says surrender everything and don't hold nothing back. Give everything to God. Don't hold nothing back. No matter how much you like it, no matter how much you love it, no matter how much you want it, don't withhold it. You know, sometimes we don't give God things and sometimes we don't surrender things to God because we're just not sure what God is going to do with it. We're not sure if God will allow us to keep it. We're not sure if God would take it for a season. You have to trust God because he knows what's best for you. And God is always going to do what's best for you. Always. He's always looking out for you and I because we are his kids and he loves us. You've been made in the glorious image and the glorious likeness of God. You have power that's on the inside of you. So you activate the power that God has given you. How do you activate this beautiful power? Through your faith. Activate it. By using the faith that God has given you, family. God has good things for you. And I'm excited for today for you. And I'm excited for your future. Because under God's care, we got to release the need to know when and why and how. You understand that, family? Under God's care, we got to learn how to release all those questions that the enemy will cause us to have in our mind that will possibly cause us to doubt God. So under the care of God's mighty, strong, powerful hand, release the need to know when the breakthrough is going to come. Release the need to know why I'm the, all, I'm the one that is going through this. Release the need to know how in the world is God going to get me out of this. Release that. Release the need to know how. Release the need to know when. And release the need to know why. Surrender all to God, withholding nothing. Because you can't do it on your own. You're right. I've said it before in my life. You've probably said it many times as well. That you know, God, I can't do this. He knows you can't do it. He said, but with him, you can do all things through Christ who is going to give you the strength. The strength. When you feel like you can't do it because we can't, this is an opportunity for you to surrender all to God. Surrender all and withhold nothing. When you surrender all and withhold nothing, you place yourself in a position where God to give you everything for just trusting him. But the word of God tells us we must believe that he is God. And that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We can't be like the wave tossed to and fro because a double-minded man is an unstable. Listen, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And we shouldn't believe we're going to get anything from God because we're, we're double-minded and we're wavering like the waves in the sea. Don't be double-minded when it comes to God's promises. Because the promises of God is going to stand. His word is going to stand because he is the word in the beginning. Remember, he is the word. He was God. He is God. And without him, not one thing was made. Surrender this morning. Surrender the marriage. Surrender the situations on your job. Surrender your health. Surrender your wealth. Surrender your finances. Surrender the children. Surrender that demon-possessed supervisor on your job. Surrender these people. Surrender the enemy. Surrender that spiritual warfare surrender these things surrender every adversary every opponent that you may have surrender these people in the hand of God because when you surrender to God and withhold nothing God is going to give you everything he's going to do that because he sees that you really trust him God is looking at your heart you know God is looking at why you do what you do you know it's not just why we what we do it's why you do what you do it's like when you give finances and you sow. Why do you give it? 
You got to check that heart space before you do anything in your life because this is what God is coming for. He is coming for the heart. And this is how God judges uh, judges us. He judges the intents of the heart. Surrender all to God. You know you can surrender. But it's those questions that leaves us in limbo. The when, the why, and the how. If you're asking yourself when, why, and how, you don't have to ask yourself anymore. Because whenever God has you under his wing, you're under the care of God. You're under the protection of God. You're under the provision of God. You're under that divine protection. So release the need to know why, when, and how. Just throw it out of the the window and surrender everything you got to God. Leave everything else to God. Whatever you can control in your life, control it. And those uncontrollable things that you can't, that's where God is going to come in. The things you can't control, the things you can't do, God is requiring you and I to do them. And those uncontrollable things that we cannot do, This is where your trust, your faith is going to step in. Those things you give to God. Look up and live because your redemption is nigh. Stay hooked up to God, leaning and depending on the Lord, nobody else. Because it is God that promotes. It is God that raises up one and pulls down another. God will open doors that man shut in your face. God will do an Ephesians 3.20 blessing for you. God will do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think according to the power of God. That works down on the inside of you. Serve God while you can. Work while it's day. Because when night falls, not one of us can work. That means when we give up the ghost, that's the nighttime. We can't work. While the blood is running warm in your veins, do everything that you can do now. Get your houses in order. Pray over your families. We pray for the salvation of your loved ones. We pray for the salvation of those unsafe loved ones that you have. We pray for the salvation of your, your marriages. We pray that God will will restore. We pray that you will trust God enough to intervene in those situations in your life and let him do what he needs to do for your life because he wants to. God say marriage is honorable in his sight. God say I am a restorer of the breach. Can you imagine? God say I'm going to give you a good measure, press down, shaking together, running over blessing. He said, I'm going to cause me and to give into your bosom. We love you. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because when we upload these videos, we don't want you to miss one of them. And thank you for jumping over to our Instagram page at Nikki G. McCray. Thank you all for doing it. And if you haven't done that yet, we ask that you join us over there and pray for us as God leads us to do what he wants to do on that page. Thank you for all of your support your prayers, your well wishes that you give us daily. And to those of us, to those of you who wish us a happy Mother's Day on yesterday, praise the Lord. We thank you for that. And we wish the same back to you every day. We give honor. We love you. God bless you.